Okay, first we got to insert our MIDI cable into our ASR 10. Out. That's the output going directly into our module. And the other end goes into the in on our module, which is today we're using our TR rack right there. Okay, we've taken a sample right now, and we're gonna sort of like make a little track up with the sample. The sample's in the ASR 10, and now we're gonna edit that sample and get the very beginning of the sample. And the first thing we have to do is we're gonna like play the sample, and we already picked the root key to play it from, uh, which is right there, as you can see, which is our C60. Now, As you can see right now, I'm trying to get the beginning of the sample. We're going to sample start. The most important thing to do here is to find the beginning of your sample. See, we're changing the actual sample start. And we're using that, see this finger right there? Exactly. While hitting the pad. That's good. Okay, that sounds like it's right on right there, right? Yes. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we'll try and loop it, right? Yes. Okay, so um, let's loop the beat. Move my camera over here. Now, first, we got to press the command button, right, Orlando? Yes. And then we're going to see, as you can see here, it says create new sequence. See that? Okay. Next, we want to press which button? Yes. We, which button we press? We press command button first, and we press yes. Yes. We didn't. Pre we don't press sequence song. It depends on where the keyboard was last stopped at. Okay. So now we're gonna go to um, new sequence. Okay. Let's create a new sequence. What do we do next? We'll hit yes again. Yes. And now this is our time signature. Now, most of the time, we're always using 4-4. Four, four. Zoom in as you can see that. We're doing 4-4 four, four there. See that? Great. Now, next, we're going to press yes again, right? Yes. Now, here, by pressing yes, we're saying yes to the first 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Now, we're saying yes to the next part of 4-4. Four, four. we hit yes again. And now, the command's complete. Now, the first part is four beats per measure, and the next part is four quarter notes. That's why it asks you to make sure whether you want to have four beats per measure, and do you want to have it quantized of quarter notes. Now, we create a new sequence, and it says, yes, new se sequence created. Now, what do we do next? We'll, we'll move the cursor camera this. back over. We're going to hit edit first. Yes. Edit. And now, we've got edit. And we're going to press what next? Sequence. Sequence. And now we have this thing, as you can see right now. Now it says, tempo, 99, loop on. Now make sure your loop is on and your tempo's at 99. The reason why we have loop on is to make sure that when we do get the beat to the right tempo and we put it into the sequence, the beat will loop. Am I correct? Yes. And that sequence will loop around that whatever tempo we decide to loop it at. Next, I think we're going to try and tap repeat this in, right? Yes. Let me move the camera back get a really good view of this so guys can understand how this actually works. Okay, now, I believe you're going to play the beat and try to tap the tempo out. That's the root key it's actually on, right there you see. That's a C60. Now he'll press that key down. And now you see he tapped it. And now what the ASR-10 does, it gives an average of those two taps to what the tempo is. It's claiming the tempo's around 104. Well, we think that's almost right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try and loop it at 104. Okay, got the tempo. Now we want to loop it up. Remember, the beat's right there. It's only one bar. That's one, two, three, four, stop. What we want to do is loop that one bar only. 
Here's how you do it. We're going to press record and play first. Right, Orlando? Yes. And then we're going to press the beat on the one. And then we're going to see if it loops. All right, do it. Chord. Three, four. Now, you saw that? He hit the beat on the one. It got to the end. And then he pressed stop. All right? Now, we're going to press play now, right? No, we have to say yes. Okay, we got to say yes. Yes, one bar. Keep track. Zoom in so you can see that. That's important that you notice that. That says one bar. Keep track. See that? Now I want to press yes. Okay. Now it's going to keep it. Let me zoom back out. And now we should press play, right? Yes. So you see, it was just about 104. But listen carefully. I hear that. Wait a minute. It's a little bit of rushing, don't you think so? Yes. Okay. We're going to solve that problem. We'll press stop. And what do we do next? Edit. We're going to press edit first. Then next. Sequence. Sequence next. And then what? We'll use our left and right arrow keys. We'll use the left and right arrow key. And we're looking for the tempo window. We're looking for that tempo window. There it is. It says tempo is 104. Now you want to move the cursor there, am I correct? Yes. So you use your left arrow button. And now I'm at the tempo. Now I think it should be a little bit slow. It's rushing. It should be like 103. Press to go down here? Yeah. And now we're at 103. Now we can press play. Now that sounds right to us. I like that. That's pretty good. I like the way that sounds. All right, press stop. And so now we got a good tempo. I like the way that sounds there. Now, next thing you want to do is probably repeat it maybe like two or three times to make a loop so we can make a little song up, right? Yes. Let's do that next. You know, we need to quantize this beat first. This means make sure it locks into the right quantized value. So it hits on that one each time, and we know it's going to be correctly quantized as we will quantize the rest of the tracks in this little song we're going to make up. So first, what do we do, Rolando? We'll hit Command. Hit Command. Track. We're going to track. And then we're going to look for... Left or right quantize. arrow cursors first? Yes. Let's go that first. Look for quantize. Now we press yes, I believe. Yes. Next, we want to quantize that track. We'll press yes again. Now, we want to set the right value. Now, in this case, we know it's going to be 16th is our quantize, 1 16th. Actually, it only comes on one being the one, and that's it, which is like a quarter note, the first quarter note. So, in this case, we know that 16th is going to be the best to use. It's important to understand quantize and quantize values. If you haven't, check out our video called How to Make a Beat. And we explain a lot more in depth about quantizing, as some manufacturers call it, or timing correction. Now, press yes, right? Yes. And entire track. This means for the length of the entire track you want to do it for. For the length of the entire track, I'll press yes. And now we've got it. And it says keep new. I press yes. No. You can hit play. Hit play. And audition it. Oh, play and audition first. Make sure it's right once it's quantized. Right, Orlando? Yes. Now, once you know it's right and it's quantized properly, we'll press stop. And now we'll press yes for new. Yes. And we'll press yes. And now we've kept that as part of sequence three. That's track number five. And it's quantized to one bar. Now, Suppose that I make it do more than one bar. That's the next step, right? Yes. Okay, let's do that next. Okay, now I want to increase the length of my sequence. Right now it's only one bar. Press play for me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We know it's only one bar. I want to make it at least maybe eight bars. Here's how you can do that. Let's go, Orlando. What's the first thing we're going to do? We have to hit Command. 
We hit command. Let me go back over here. We got to see that command button, guys. Where's that command button? We hit command. Sequence. We're going to hit sequence. And use your arrow keys. And now I move the camera right back over so you can see it, guys. Let me zoom in so we can see this. We're going to use the arrow keys and go, what are we looking for? Append append sequence. sequence. Now, this means append. This is nothing, no big, big word. It means to add, to add on, to append it to something else, to add it on, put one here and one there, and we put them together. You got that? So now we want to add the sequence onto itself. Now, here's how you do that. What's the first button we're going to press, Orlando? We'll hit yes. We're going to hit yes. We want to do it. So, yes, we want to do it. And it says from sequence three, we say yes, right? Yes. And to sequence three, we say yes again. Command complete. So now what do we want to do? We'll press play to see if it worked already? Sure. We'll press play. Now stop. I want to see how it looks actually uh, as, the, as the numbers go by so the guys can see. So hit edit. We'll hit edit. Sequence. Sequence. And oh, here we go. We I see. Screen. We have our counting screen. Let me zoom in so we can see these numbers go by so you can understand this concept. This is very important. It's going to loop your beats up properly. Three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Stop. You saw that? We attached the sequence to itself and created two bars instead of one bars. I want to eight one, so we'll do it again, right? Yes. I'll move back the camera. And now, what do we do, guys? What do you guys say at home we do? Of course, we press command, right? Command. Command. Sequence. Oh, it's already there. Look at that. It's already there. I press command, and it's already there. Look at that. Great. Now, I'll say, sure, we want to do that. From sequence three to, to sequence three. three. You see that there? I'll press yes. It did it complete. So, the way I figure right now, we took two bars and appended to up two more bars, and now we got four bars. Well, I'll do it again. I'll say from three to three. Do it. Now, command complete. This means, the way I figure, we got eight bars. Let's find that out. Hit edit. We'll hit edit. Sequence. Sequence. And that brings up our counter window again. It's our counter window again. See that we have sequence three, the amount of bars. Now I think Orlando's going to press play. I'll hit play. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, stop. We got eight bars. That's how you make it loop. Check that out. Okay, now we've got our loop going on. Now, what a lot of rappers, rap producers do, and you know, a lot of producers today in today's music, they actually add other drums on top of the sound. We're going to pull out one of our Sample Kings discs for the ASR 10. We're going to use this disc, and you're going to check it out. Now, this disc is also good for an EPS and an EPS-16, and an EPS-16+. plus. I just said ASR-10, but it's good for all four machines. Our samples are always designed to fit each machine. Okay, now, I'm going to load it in. There you go. And now we're ready to load it up. I'm going to add some drum sounds along with this fat loop we got going on here. Okay, now we're going to load in those sounds from our Sample Kings Jeep set. The first button we're going to press is load, right? Yes. We're pressing load. Good. And next, we're going to press what? Instrument. Instrument. Now you can see here, on our ASR-10, you can see it blink there. See that? We're good to go. What's next? Okay, we can walk through the files that are on the disk. We have an 808 kick. As our first file, the 808 snare as oh, our I second see. You're file. The up and down button, and you're pressing up and down to go through the files in order. We have a T kick file three. Okay, good. Tight snare. 
Well, hold it. Let's load the entire disk up. Okay. We don't know what we're going to use, so let's load the entire disk up. Oh, I see. So you have to go load them like that way? Yes. You pick, you go through each one of them. So I'm going to load up the Skings Jeep set. That's the 13th file on that set. That's a layered instrument. That okay. means it has more than one sample in the kit. Great. Okay, next, uh, let me move the cursor back. Oh, there we go. Now. We'll say enter. Enter. And then we have to pick a instrument button. Okay, pick one. I'll choose number six. Number six. Remember, the loop was on five. And see, it says loading Skings Jeep. Look at that. It's loading it. And it's still loading it in. Now, there are a lot of samples on this disc. We're going to make sure it loads all the sample sounds in so you get them properly on this disc. Once they're through loading, it says file loaded. See that? Now, in order to use it, what do we do next, Orlando? We hit that instrument location, instrument which is location, six. Which is six. You saw that? The light went right over there. There's a light. It went to the yellow light right there. See that? And now it says Skings Jeep is the volume for that entire set. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, now, we've got our sounds in. Check this out. We've got all those sounds here on our ASR-10. Now, each sound is set up on the machine through the layer system, right? Yes. Show us that. So, hit edit. Let's go over here and we'll hit edit. And now we see... Skings layer 1, wave sample 12. So it says Skings layer 1, wave sample 12. Now I hit a note. I hit this one here. That says 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. See that? Each one of these sounds are numbered, and it shows you the number of each sound in the layer as a wave sample. Okay, now I want to add some hi-hats to this thing. So let's sort of like set it up for that. Well, first let's move the camera over here and we can see what we're going to hit right now. Okay, we're going to hit that sequence button and now we're right back where we were before, sequence and bars. Now I'll hit some of these sounds here. It's like I'm pick a sound I want to use. I want that one. Okay, press record and play. I'll play through the whole eight bars. Okay, stop it. Now it's just quantize, right? Am I correct? Yes. What button do we press next? Command. Command. Oh, we have to keep the track first. Okay, so press yes. Yes. Press yes first. Remember that, guys. Press yes first. Now press command. Yes. And now we, we don't want to append. You want to go through here and look for quantize. Actually, what you have to do is hit command track. Oh, command, then track. And there's the quantize. We press yes. Six, track six, yes. Quantize, yes. At that value, entire track, yes. Now, play. Can audition it? All right, it's in there. Okay, good. Let's press stop. I might want to add a snare to that. What do I do next? All right. We have to keep that. Oh, keep that first. All right. And now we're ready for... We'll press play. I'll try an additional new sound.
Okay, let's try that one there. Stop. Okay. Start from the top again. You want to hit edit sequence. Edit sequence. And use your arrow keys to scroll. Which way? Up or down? Left and right arrow keys. Uh, just use either or. It'll come around. Oh, go back one. And we want to do add. Add. So that means we're going to overdub. We're going to add to this sequence. We're going to keep what we have and over it, add something onto it. Now, if there was something that you didn't like there, you can actually change this to replace looped. Replace, which will, of course, replace the track. Which will replace the entire track. We don't want to replace the entire track. We want to keep the track where it is. I just want to add a new part in. I want to add a snare drum in. So now, I'll, I guess we'll press record and play. Yes. Good, stop. Now we want to actually keep it, say yes. Yes. And next, I want to quantize it. Am I correct? Yes. So I press, what do I press first? Command. Command. Now it says quantize. I'll press yes. Now, we're going to say track six, yes. Quantize this value. I think so. And then entire track, of course, my entire track. And now I'll play it back. Oh, I hear it. Okay, I'll press yes. I want to keep that one. See that? I pressed yes. It stopped and said, well, look, he said yes. Let's stop playing the beat. Okay, next, we're going to add one more drum. Let's do this. Come on. Now I don't like that. So I'll press stop. And now what do you do? Press old? Old. Uh, you gotta underline it. Underline the old. Hit yes. Hit yes. Okay. Now. Yeah. Now you'll be back to where you started from. All right, I'm ready now. Oh yeah, I want a stronger beat than that one. Boom. Okay, I like that. I'll press yes, keep that. Next, I want to press command. Quantize yes, six track yes, 16th yes, the entire track yes, and it's done. Play it back. I like that, yes, we keep that. Now, I'm going to use a module. I've got a module sitting right there, and there it is right there is my module. This is my TR rack. It's a cork rack. It's like a Triton, but it's a Trinity cork rack, they call it. I got it set for program. I got some sounds already preset a little bit. What we're going to do now, we're going to set the ASR-10, or your EPS, or your EPS-16, or your EPS-16+, plus. works the same way. We're going to set it up so that this will send information to this module and tell it we want to play this sound. And this is going to be MIDI track 1. This is going to be 2. Up to MIDI track 16. We'll pick up one to use and we'll make it work right. Check this out. What's the first thing we're going to do, Orlando? We're going to hit Command Instrument. We'll hit Command. 
Then we're going to hit the word instrument. There we go. And see what it says there? It says create new instrument. See that? What's next? We'll hit yes. We're going to hit yes. And then we can select an unused instrument location. Okay. Now, so far, we've already picked out one through four for our demo. And five was our loop. Six was our famous Sample Kings Jeep set. And number seven we'll start for. Start from. Right? Yes. So hit seven? Uh, you have to hit yes. We'll hit yes. This means, oh, see, so it says that. See? Select unused track equals seven. We'll hit yes. Command complete. And you'll see that it's now on track seven. Because we have the red and the yellow light there. And that's the track we're going to actually use right now to work on. What's next, Orlando? Okay, we'll hit edit instrument. Edit instrument. So I'll hit edit first. Get back over here. Here's my edit button. Then I'm going to hit instrument. Whoa. And now it says MIDI out program. That means it's going to be MIDI channel 1. We want to change that to probably be MIDI channel 7. Okay. So what we do next? We'll use our up arrow key. Up? Yes. Oh, I see. And you should be able to scroll all the way up to 16. Just keep hitting it. See that? Oh, 18. Oh, actually, MIDI out program is the patch. Aha. Uh -huh. See that? It's not MIDI. MIDI out program means a patch. A patch is a sound. This is important. We're doing this so you can understand and don't get confused. See that? Program means sound. Now, many manufacturers say this is a program, this is a voice, this is a patch. That just means it's a sound that the keyboard's going to play. And we're going to have the keyboard play its own particular sound. See that? There's a sound right there. That's a keyboard playing a sound right there. We can play a sound in a particular keyboard. And we're going to pick the sound. So now, we can pick a sound, am I correct? If you wanted to. Yes. So. Well, we need to change the MIDI channel number. Okay, so how do we do that? Use your left and right arrow keys. Left and right arrow keys. So I can go here. Oh, there it is. We're looking for many channels. See that? Don't get confused at home. This is why we do this, because sometimes God calls up, Oh, man, I'm in the wrong part. What's wrong, Doc? And I say, well, check your MIDI channel. Well, check this out. We're going to go here, and now, look at those numbers change. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It won't go any further. Well, this means we are actually in the MIDI channel section. We want to make this new 7, seven equals 7. It's important. It's easy. It's simple. The way to go. I think I should press yes now, right? No, you don't have to press yes on this. <laughs> oh, this is good. No need to press yes. So What's next? That's not a sample. That's just a placeholder that you're telling the keyboard to play out of this MIDI channel and then you can go back to that other window that we thought was the right window. Right. Go back. Go and back. which is the window that says MIDI out program. Who was that at? Ah, there it is. I just saw it. MIDI out program. There it is right there. See, and, and there you have 128 different patches, voices, or programs based on how the manufacturer set up your sound module. And so this means that if we press a key and we play, we trigger a sound, we're going to press a key and it's going to send the information out of MIDI channel 7, out of our MIDI cable, out of here, that goes into our module, and then it'll receive it and say, okay, I received information, we must send this information, through MIDI channel in this module, and then we're going to trigger the sound at once. It wants to trigger the sound number 124. Now, we'll do that. Okay, I've got the MIDI cables plugged in. You saw that? We got the audio hooked up. You saw that. Audio's in, the MIDI's in. Now, this says one. I'll move it up. That says 15, 16. I'm going away. Look at that. 
I'll go this number. We're triggering different sounds in the module. You got that? We are triggering different sounds in the module because this is sending information saying, okay, play sound 43. Play sound 7. 44. Play sound 45. Play sound 51. What's happening here is that the information is coming out of MIDI channel 7 into here on MIDI channel 7. And then we tell, look, we are in MIDI channel 7, but we want to play program the patch or the voice, whatever the manufacturer calls that sound, this thing. We're going to play it. 51. What's your 51? We're going to play that. That's 51. Understand the concept. Well, now we're about ready. We set tracks up and we're going to record some tracks using our ASR-10. Now, the MIDI information will be here. We're going to record it in the sequencer. But it will send it out, the MIDI cable, right there, into our module. Check this out. Okay, now I've got my module hooked up. The next thing I want to do is make sure each one of my instruments is going to the proper MIDI channel. Let me show you that right quickly. Let's move right on in here. And we've got the first instrument going to MIDI channel 1. The next one going to MIDI channel 2. The next one going to MIDI channel 3. The next one, MIDI channel 4, 5, 6, 7. We can do 8 if we had that channel set up for record. We're just going to do from 1 through 7 today. All right? Now, next thing you want to do is select a program. That means select the voice or a sound that we're going to play back on our module, which is right there. That's our module. See that? And we're going to make sure that this first sound here, I'll move it there right now, is going to play. There we go. So you can go down. That says T1. That's blinking right there. That says 4. See that? Okay. What we do first to change the sound, Lando? We say edit. We're going to press edit. Then Instrument. Let. Instrument. We're going to pick the instrument, which is number 1. We're in channel right now, so we need to pick the instrument number 1. We'll hit our left arrow key. Left arrow key. Program, see program. that? And now, I'll change the program. I want to use that sound. Now what do we do? We'll hit play so we can figure out what to play. We're ready. Okay. We got it. We got that. I'll hit stop and then we can actually go into record and record that piece. Okay, let's try that. So hold on. You're going to hit play. And then I practiced. Now I'm going to try this again. Hold on, see. Okay, I'm ready. That says new. I'll press yes. Next, I want to quantize that. Command. We'll press command. Track. Track. 
Quantized track. Quantized track. Track one, yes. 16, yes. Entire track, yes. Now, we'll play it back. I like that. And we'll say yes for new. So now, I want to do a new track, which will be this one right here, right? Correct. Hey, this is getting pretty easy now. I'm starting to catch on. So now, I want to select a new sound. How do we do that? Edit. We're going to press edit. Instrument. Instrument. And just move the um, cursor here up and down. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we'll try the piano next. Okay, let's try to record a keyboard now. Two, three, four. I like that, but you know what I want to do? I want to get the velocities all to be a lower level. So I'll press yes, right? So I want yes. to keep it. I want to then quantize it. Press edit. Command. Press command. Track. Track. And then press enter. Enter. Then true. Yep. 16. Yep. Entire track. Yes. Keep it. But now, you know what I'm going to do? I want to make the whole track a separate velocity. How do we do that? I want to lower it. I like when I put it very low. How do we do that? Command. We'll press Command. Track. Track. And use your arrow keys. Arrow key. Oh, go back. Go back. Scale event. Scale event. Hit Enter. Enter. Track 2. And change that parameter. Oh. Up or down. And we're looking for what? Velocity. Velocity. There it is. Now I press enter. Enter. And next what we press? We can scale by percentage sign, percentage right? Percentage or, or whole numbers. Okay, I think I want to use this as it says there. That's about fifty percent, right? Yes. Okay. So um why do you press yes? Yes. Entire track, yes. And now, plus play. Oh, I see it. It gave him all dip. It wasn't hitting hard now. Oh, yeah, it's soft in the background. I like that. Okay, that's good. Now I'll press yes to keep that like that, right? Yes. That way it has a little moody in the background like that. Well, now we want to record a new instrument. Okay, we got this one here picked for a new instrument, number three. Let's pick a sound. How we do this? Edit instrument. Edit instrument. Oh, instrument. I'll pick your program. Pick the program I want to pick. Okay, let's move up here, let's see. Let's try that one. Okay. I'll hit play. something. Alright, yep. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I hit record play. Mm -hmm.
stop again. Let's try something else now. Oh, I see. It's played right over. It's not bad. Let's try and do it again. I okay. want to get rid of that. Before so, we, we do that, uh -huh. I just want to show you one thing. Right. We'll hit play. Right. And underline old. Underline old. Oh, well, I see. Well, guess what? It's not there anymore. That's cool, isn't it? Yep. So oh. you can compare what you did before to what the track sounded like before you added the new part. Well, I can practice too, couldn't I? Yeah. do that instead. So now we'll hit stop and then we'll say yes under old. There's yes. I'm ready, right? Now we can hit record play again. Yep. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good for me. All right, let's try to keep that. I'll press yes. And now I want to quantize it. Command. Command. Track. Track. Then go find through quantize. here. Got to find quantize. There it is. Press okay. enter. Track three, 16, entire track, new. You can actually also audition that. Audition that. Let's just play anyway. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, now let's try and add some other instruments in, okay? Let's add one more instrument. Okay. I'll press what? Command? No, you can just select number four. Aha, remember that, guys. Select your next instrument, number four. Now, if you want to see the instrument, now you can just edit it. Go to edit? Yes. Go to yes or you edit? No, edit. Edit. Go click the edit first. Now instrument. Now instrument. Now. Uh, hold it right there. You can also use a slider to change oh, your Oh, man. Like right that. That's kind of cool. I don't know, let's try something different. Let's try that sound. Give it a nice cool flavor to it. I'll hit play. Hit play. Let's record that. Right. One, two, three, four. Press yes for new. Now I want to quantize it. Command. Command. Quantize. Quantize. 
four track, 16, entire track, new play. Now see, that's how you can actually trigger those sounds, play them back, quantize them, loop a beat, add some drum sounds, and make it funky. That's how you do it right. What do you say, Lando? That's pretty good. That's pretty good, huh? Uh-huh. Want to add something? There's another thing that we can do. What's that? To just do variations on our sequence. Okay. Let's do that next. Okay, you know something? We got a few tracks here. We can keep going on, keep adding mini tracks. But I think the guys need to see how we can mute stuff in and out. And here we have so far, right? Yep. Let's try that. We'll hit play. Now we'll hit edit track. Edit. Then track. Okay. See all these keys? I see that. Now how we get there? Oh, I see. Just smooth the cursor there, and we're there at sequence. You get to each P by hitting the track number. See that? Oh, well, I that's see. That's three, that's four, that's five. So that's each six. time, let me move in closer and actually see this. This looks really interesting. Oh, yeah, I see. So I move to here, and a line goes under it for four, five, or six. Now, what if I go to here? What do I press? This button here? You can hit the down, down key. Oh, it takes the track out. Take Watch track this. Out. Let's take out the, um, that's four. Oh, well, I see. Let's go to here. Let's go to five. Oh, I see. We can mix it up, right? Yeah. Uh, this is fun. Let me go back here to this one. Turn this one back on. One, two, here comes the beat. Oh, I see. That's kind of funky. And we can do this within the sequence, right? Yes. Okay. Let me try this here. Move this down. Turn that one back on. How do we solo a track? We want to hear one track solo. Well, you just put an S where that P is. How do you do that? Just use your up arrow key. Up arrow? Oh, well, I see. Then go to here. Up. Up. Got it. Got it. And to get out of it, they're all back on now. And I can mute them again. Go to one, turn the bass line off. I see. Press stop. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now we can also turn off that metronome if we don't want to hear that. How do we do that? Edit sequence. We're going to go to edit, press sequence. sequence. And we'll use our left and right arrow keys. Right. And we're looking for the click. The click, there it is right there. One more. Ah. Click volume, you can turn that off. How do you do that? Just slide this. Turn the slider down, I see. All right, the click's gone. Nice. Okay. Let's try to copy a sequence. How do we do that? Command. We'll press Command. Sequence. Press sequence. And let's just scroll. Scroll up or down or? No, nah, left and right. Left and right. Copy, copy a sequence. sequence. Now we'll press yes. Yes. And from copy sequence from three. sequence three. To sequence sequence four. four. Enter. Shuffling. Command complete. Now what?
Let's copy, copy it again. Sequence five. Command complete. Now, you know, I'm about to make a song up. I want to start with an intro that's four bars. Can we take that sequence number four and make it four bars? Sure. How do you do that? Edit. We're going to go to edit. Sequence. Sequence. Highlight number four. Um, how is it? Go up and down? Ahead. Yep. Here's number four. Hit enter. Hit enter. All right. Now use your left and right arrow. Okay. Now, I want to, I already copied them. So now I want to pretty much just cut some sequences down. Mm -hmm. I've got number four here. What I'll do, press next. Command. Hit command. And then what? Change sequence length. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, I'll press yes. And now it's eight bars. So you can... I go here and, and pick the amount of bars. How do I do this? Oh, well, I see that. Amount of bars you want. I can go to here. How do I, how do I pick Use the... Use the slider. The slider? Mm-hmm. Slider doesn't do that. Oh, it's just one bar. You can only delete one bar at eight. All right, so to do that. Let's delete bar? Yeah. Yes. Bars at... Eight. Eight. Bars at four. Delete one bar. Oh, I see. So delete the bar at eight and press yes. Yeah. So now it's seven. Command complete. Then, yes. Oh, I see. One bar at seven. Press delete. Enter. 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 So now it's six bars. Now it's six bars. I see. And now yes. And then enter, enter. Now it's five. You just made it four bars now. And now it's four bars, right? Let's hear okay. it back. Hit the left arrow so they can see the counter. Okay, let's see the counter now. How are we going to see the counter again? Hit edit, sequence. And now we'll press play, start. Okay, good. That's four bars. See that? That's four bars now. Okay, now what I want to do is I'd like to at least take some instrument. I want to take out the loop, the drum loop we made on channel five. How do I erase that from this sequence? Okay. You want to go to command track? Command track. Now, I want to look around for... Undefined. A, erase. Oh, you just passed it. Undefined. Erase undefined. Erase undefined. Press yes. Yes. Track, track five. five. Yes. Complete. Okay, you hit play. Play. I want to erase this track next. Select it, track three, uh -huh. and now press it. Okay, great. Well, now I'm going to do a couple of the tracks. And then we'll make up the other sequence and take those tracks off. And then we'll put a song form together, okay? Yes. Okay. I've already edited out some parts in sequence number five. And now we can press play. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to press play and audition each sequence. You know, and sometimes you can may want to write it down. Right, Orlando? Yeah. And you may want to just make sure what sequences you want to use. I'll press play. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go to, it says five. So I'm gonna go to four next. See, went to four. Now I wanna go to three next. Watch this. Two. One, two, three. See that? So going back and forth between sequences and see which sequence you wanna use. Now we might put this in a song form next. Check this out. Okay, one last thing. I want to put these sequences into a song. What's the first thing we do? We say command sequence. Command, let me press sequence. And then we use our arrow keys. Use the arrow keys. To 
Edit song steps. Edit song steps. Press yes? Yes. What's next? It says insert. We don't have anything defined there because we haven't told it what sequence to put in. With the cursor, it puts in sequence three. We'll start with four. That's four. Four bar intro. Right. And that's, and now what is this here? The number of times repeat? Mm -hmm. That says stop and it says step. This is yeah, the step. That's step one. That's how many times it plays. Okay, good. So we can actually go there and we can make that two, three, whatever. Let's make it play one. one time. All right. Let's go to the next step. We'll say enter. Now we have step, step two. two. We'll play sequence one. We're going to have a sequence. We've got a sequence four. We've got sequence Six, three. three. We've got her. That's the eight bar sequence. That's the eight bar sequence. We'll play that one time. Right. We'll say enter. Okay, now I want to go to sequence five. five. And now I'll press enter. Yes. That's correct? Uh huh. Okay, we got the sequences. Now we want to compile them together in one nice big solid chunk. We're going to press command. Preparing audio tracks. Command complete. We'll hit play. Hit play. Now we'll hit the song right back from the top. I see. And that's the next four bars of this uh, sequence three. Now sequence five comes here. Two, three, four. We're gonna end. One, two, three, four. And that's it. It ended great.